Hi everybody. I thought I would just show you this, um, my last pour, the cloud pour. So it actually dried amazingly. It's, it's just dried to the touch really. And I thought I'd give you an update on how it is dried. It is looking beautiful. I'm not sure if you can actually see all the gold in between in each of those lines is separated with gold so it dried exactly the same I'll show you from this angle here looks really really cool so all of those wave um, effects like 3D wave effects all dried exactly like that If you haven't already watched the video, then go ahead and have a look. But yeah, it's um, pretty awesome. Well, thanks guys, and um, stick around for the next video. Thank you. everybody welcome back I'm under here I'm going to just be reusing a canvas today it's experiment time and um, I'm going to be using three colors so it will be white and Prussian blue so I'm just going to pour all of this in and teal so I'll just be doing a, a flip cuff and then stick around till the end I have um, a bit of a twist. Right, so there it is and um, I don't need too much paint for what I want to do. So again this is just an experiment and um, I actually thought I would show you guys what the outcome would be which I find um, Quite interesting actually. Oh wow. Those colours turned out amazing. some of that around the edges so we can um, tilt all that paint I'm pretty sure there's more than enough paint here anyway I'll we'll just give it a bit of a torch I don't have any silicone in any of my paint I have a teeny bit of satin enamel in the white which was actually leftover paint, so it shouldn't really make um, a massive dif difference. And 
it's not really the satin enamel effects that I'm after and I'll show you why in a bit I would like to keep some of that white so I think I'll just take it there and um, take some off on this side Right, that looks pretty good. I'll just cover those corners first. And give it another torch. This is what I'll be using is um, alcohol ink. So I was given this and um, I went to a little bit of a talk and uh, I thought well why not do a little experiment. I just want one teeny little drop there. Bigger drop there. <laughs> it's jumping. It's jumping off off the acrylic. Isn't that interesting? And let's put one right here, a big one. It's very interesting how it's actually just bouncing around off the paint. Have a look, it actually looks like like a, um, a thermometer. You can see that paint going backwards and forwards like that. Let's stick around till the end and then you'll see why I'm experimenting with this. it actually gives really really cool effects so I'm just going to add a teeny bit more it's already starting actually
Okay guys, so here you can see the end result. And all the little, um, they're like, when you put the alcohol ink on, it actually jumps. And when it jumps, I hope you can see this, it creates all these little fractals. I think that's how you, you say it, fractals. And you can see how it's created the same on the sides here. So what I've done is I've just created some trees. So you can see how it's blended through there. Um, and here as well, which actually looks really cool. Over there. And all on the sides of what I'm calling the branches of the trees is the same effect. So you can see the effect there. Um, and the longer you leave it, the more it will develop. So they do actually look really cool. I hope my camera is picking them up. And that one over there. You see how it's all feathered along the trees. It's really awesome. So as soon as you drop a drop of the alcohol ink on to the acrylic paint, it's sort of, it's like little beads that fly around and it's the little beads that create these fractals. Uh, yeah, I don't really know if it's, if it's picking it up. It doesn't really look like it on the screen. But anyway, there's a nice little kind of a treescape. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.